Welcome to eSamples, where music theory is simplified. This video is a grade 4 music theory video on triads. To aid comprehension, please see our previous videos on writing accidentals on triads and triads and inversions. We shall consider examination questions from Muzan exam May 2022. Muzan exam November 2018 and Muzan exam May 2020. This question is from Muzan exam May 2022 and it says write the key signatures and triads named below. The first one is G minor dominant the second one b major subdominant and a flat major tonic let's do these together let's start from g minor dominant first thing is to write out the notes in g minor Add the key signature accidentals, which are B flat and E flat. Because it is a minor key, raise the seventh note. So F becomes F sharp. We are looking at a dominant triad, and dominant means the fifth degree will be at the roots and the fifth degree is D. A third above that will be the leading note and a third above that will be the supertonic. As usual, let's stack them the way it will appear on the stave. We are going to have D, F sharp and A. Let's put these on the stave. Remember you are to write the key signature. So let's write the key signature of G minor which will be F sharp and sorry which will be B flat and E flat. So B flat first, then E flat. Then we can now write the triad. So D, I choose that D position. You can use line four, which is another D position, followed by F sharp, then A. Let's move to B major subdominant. As usual, the notes in B major add the natural key signature accidentals, which are F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. Now we are looking for the subdominant. It means E the, in the fourth degree will be at the root. So E first followed by the submediant, then the tonic. As usual, stack. We'll have E, G sharp, and B. But first, let's write the key signature of B major. That will be F sharp first, followed by C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. Now we can write our triad E first, 
you can ch choose the lower E position, but I choose to use this E position, followed by G sharp, followed by B. Next is A flat major tonic. As usual, the notes in A flat major, then the key signature accidentals in A flat major, which are B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Now we want to write the tonic triad, meaning the tonic note A flat will be at the root of the triad followed by the median followed by the dominant as usual stack you'll have a flat c and e flat now for this question the clef is all too clef so line three is your middle c but first let's let's write the key signature of a flat major because the question requires that. So B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Let's put the triad A flat first, followed by C, followed by E flat. Now this question is from Muzan exam November 2018 and it says write the triads indicated below. Do not write their key signatures but use appropriate accident accidentals where needed. Now the first one here is F minor first inversion. As usual the notes in F minor Key signature accidentals in F minor, which are B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. For you to be very proficient in writing triads, you have to possess good knowledge, excellent knowledge of key signatures. Now, this is a minor key. So we need to raise the seventh note. Raising the seventh note, which is E flat, E loses its flat. Now let's form the triad F minor first inversion. Now F minor means it's going to be the tonic, a third above it. A fifth above it. Let's stack because this is the root position but the question wants first inversion. Now this is the root position. First inversion means the root goes up. With the root going up, first F minor first inversion will now be A flat, C, then F. Now let's put these on the stiff. A flat first, followed by C, and then F. Next is B flat major, root position. As usual, the notes in B flat major, key signature accidentals, which are B flat and E flat. Now the tonic, the median, the dominant stack. You'll have B flat, D and F. Let's put these on the stiff. B flat first, D, then F. Next question is A major second inversion. As usual, the notes in A major, the key signature accidentals, which are F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. 
let's start by constructing a major root position we are going to have a c sharp and e let's have that that start now the question requires that we write second inversion second inversion means the fifth will become the root so second inversion will be e a then c sharp let's put this on the stiff e first A and C sharp. Next is C minor first inversion. As usual, the letters denote in C minor the key signature accidentals, which are B flat, E flat, and A flat. Because it is a minor key we have to raise the seventh note when that is done letter b loses its flat let's construct the triad first we have the root the third the fifth let's have that stack that is root position but the question requires first inversion first inversion means c goes up and when c goes up first inversion will now be e flat g then c let's put this on the stiff e flat g and c next is e major root position as usual key signature accidentals which are f sharp c sharp g sharp and d sharp the triad the root the third above it the fifth above it stack you have e g sharp then b let's put that on the stiff e first g sharp B. This question is from Muzon, May 2020, and the question says identify these triads by naming the key and describe them as tonic, subdominant, or dominant now let's look at the first here it's alto clef with three sharps which are f sharp c sharp and g sharp now this key signature only suggests two keys and that is the major key with three sharps which is a major and the relative minor of A major, which is F sharp minor, because we don't know which it is. We now have to work with these two and definitely we'll find and an answer. Now, the notes in A major and the notes in F sharp minor. Key signature accidentals, both keys have the same key signature accidentals as can be seen above F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Same for the minor, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. But for F sharp minor, the seventh note has to be raised. And when raised, E gets a sharp now let's find the triad um looking at the stave the notes we have there are a c sharp and e so that means in, in constructing our triads 
we will a it's going to be at the root so for for the minor first let's start on the minor angle that's a followed by c sharp followed by e we are supposed to have an e so with that e sharp in the minor that means this is a wrong guess because the triad above is a c sharp and e but in the minor here we have a c sharp and e sharp so this is definitely 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 not what we are looking for let's go to the major key and see if we can find our notes and our triad correctly so here we have our a followed by c sharp followed by e definitely this is where our answer lies stacking that you are going to have a c sharp and e so that means this key is a major and then the triad is going to be tonic so the answer there for the key is a major and the triad is the tonic triad let's move to the next one next here from the question is a key with five sharps and our triad there is c sharp e and g sharp so definitely we are going to go for the major key with five sharps and it's relative minor and that can only be b major and the relative minor is g sharp minor as usual the notes in b major the notes in g sharp minor let's add the key signature accidentals which are f sharp c sharp g sharp d sharp and a sharp same for the minor f sharp c sharp g sharp d sharp and a sharp for the minor we need to raise the seventh note and when that is done f becomes f double sharp now the triad above is c sharp e and g sharp so from the major angle that's c sharp e and g sharp have it start hmm. that looks like our answer but let's find out from the minor if we can have something different so we'll be able to strike out the wrong answer here we have c sharp e and g sharp it appears to be the same let's have it stuck we have same answer but how do we know which is which now go back to the question the question says identify these triads by naming the key and describe them as tonic subdominant or dominant so our question can either be a tonic triad a subdominant triad or a dominant triad now looking at b major and g sharp minor b major seems to be the wrong answer because the triad in b major here with the notes above is a supertonic triad and we are not looking for a supertonic triad we are either looking for a tonic a subdominant or a dominant but i think in the in the minor key we have a subdominant triad so that means the key here is g sharp minor and our triad is subdominant now the last one from the question the major key with three flats will be E flat major. So definitely it's minor, it's relative minor. We'll have the same key signature accidental. And as usual, the notes in E flat major and the notes in C minor. Now let's add the key signature accidentals, which are D flat, E flat, and a flat same on the minor side b flat 
E flat and A flat. In the minor, remember, raise the seventh note. If that is done, B loses its flat. And uh, looking from looking at the question, we are looking for B flat, a triad that the root will be B flat followed by D and F. So let's start from the minor angle. That's B, incidentally, our B here is a natural B. So this doesn't seem like what we are looking for. Followed by D, followed by F. Let's have it start. We have B, D, F. So definitely this is wrong. The answer, the key is not C minor. Let's go to E flat major to see if what we are looking for is there. So here we have B flat, D, and F. Let's have it start. I think this is what we are looking for. B flat, this is exactly our triad. So it means the answer is here. So the key here is E flat major and our triad is dominant because the fifth is the fifth degree is at the root of our triad. As you can see, with good knowledge of key signatures and knowing just what to do, triads are just fun. Best of luck in your examination. Subscribe to E. Simply's YouTube channel if you have not already subscribed. Hit the notification button and you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Many thanks for watching.